Pledge of Allegiance must go. A daily loyalty oath has become a toxic nationalistic ritual. This is by David Nios of Salon.com. Salon is a hardcore left-wing leftist pinko commie uh, website. They are on the radical left, wacko cringe, basically. If you don't know who they are, I am well familiar with this site. Alicia, we make students salute national greatness for th- 13 years. No wonder Trumpian anti-intellectualism is on the march. No, Trump's on the march because we have a wacko left-wing nutcase in the White House who is destroying this country and people are fed up enough to vote for Trump. Final straw came when a teacher accused Alicia, a high school sophomore, of treason. Alicia, not her real name, hardly comes across as subversive. She's not one of those kids who's engaged by anti-American propaganda for ISIS. For example, nor is she one who has been duped by home, homegrown anti-government groups going for a citizen rebellion. She's pretty much an ordinary, intellectual, intelligent teenager interested in politics, current events, and government, but hardly a fringe radical. How many teenagers do you know that are actually uh, involved in that? Her offense in the eyes of her room room teacher, however, was that she chose to sit out the Pledge of Allegiance. This act for Alicia and countless other young Americans has brought on the wrath of authority with teachers and school administrators unleashing mean-spirited accusations and hostility towards students who dare question the wisdom of a daily loyalty oath. We may be a free country, but any kid who chooses to sit out the collective Exercise of exalting America runs a risk of official ostracization. Well, too bad. I've spent the last year interacting with kids who participated in the American Humanist Association's boycott of Pledge of Allegiance. The boycott is intended to raise awareness of the fact that Pledge, which was originally scripted by a magazine under in 1892 and does did not include the words under God until 1954. The insertion of those two words has long irritated many Americans. No, it's, it ir- irritates leftists like you, particularly those who reject the notion of fly- tying patriotism to God belief and the AHA's boycott has been an effective strategy for educating many, especially young people, on the issue. I'm not going on and on with this. Uh, this is an anti-American nutcase, wacko, typical of Salon, of course. Uh, this is a hardcore left-wing anti-American site. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. I was listening to this on Jim Quinn uh, on warroom.com and this is just typical of them. He says uh, how do he put it? He said liberals love democracy unless until the vote doesn't go their way. That's true. But they hate everything about this country. Salon.com hates everything about this country. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. They hate guns, obviously. They hate the Constitution. So I'm not surprised at a wacko, nutcase, left-wing site like this 
comes out with this. Unbelievable. And unacceptable. Not that we can do anything about it. I am... These are fighting words in my book. I'm sorry. These are fighting words. We did the Pledge of Allegiance every day. And if I'm not mistaken, we even prayed when I was a kid. It's a long time gone now, but... Unbelievable. But we have to spotlight the wackos so that people know who they are. That's the way it is. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. This is Artifacts of Mars again. And I don't usually tack on a second video. These will actually be two separate videos, but I'm putting them in putting them together to save time and effort. Uh, here is a website from don'tsaythepledge.com, the American Humanist Association. These are a bunch of la leftist, wacko, uh, radicals. Other kind of left-wing radicals come off cam campuses and things like that. It's what your uh, marvelous school system is teaching is left-wing anti-American activism. This is why they should be removed uh, from power because they're just harming uh, kids and harming this country. They're undermining this country. They are anti-American. And here is that David Nios from the previous article. He's from the American Humanist Association. The radical, like I said, these are all wacko left-wing nutcase types. So don't ever think that these are just normal Americans, because they're not. These are... They are trying to undermine this country, and I'm getting about sick of it. And this is fighting words. One nation under God, indivisible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say if I can remember it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You got that, you dirtbags? I'm about sick of this. Unbelievable. So they want to boycott it. Huh? That's kind of interesting because boycott usually uh, works with products. Unbelievable. Alright, before I get too angry, I'm going to have to go. Thanks for watching again. I had a problem with the first video. I didn't have my usual intro, intro but that's okay.